Okay, recording is in progress. So I think uh, we can start. I think we are not going to have many people because vacation time. So hi, Matthias. So we can start with the meeting. Uh, let me see. Hi, everyone. Hello. Uh, so I think I can share my application. Uh, can you can you see my screen? The yes. notes. Yes. 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 Okay. Great. So please add your name into the attendance list. So we we'll start uh, with the agenda. Um, we are going to have, as always, an overview of the ITF and RTF IoT groups. So. We asked today working group and research group chairs to speak for one or two minutes to explain the status of their working groups. Then we go through new plan activities, IoT activities, and if someone else, then if someone else wants to give some updates into others' IoT SDOs, and then some questions or comments on other business. Comments on the agenda? Okay. We proceed with the working groups. Uh, Sixty-ish, Thomas Pascal. Okay, I uh, understand that the group is terminating, so they are uh, no working for it. Uh, I requested that that group be closed. I think uh, I think yesterday I filed that request. So waiting for the secretariat to just uh, click the buttons. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Then six low, uh, cars and Sweta cannot be present, but they have uh, the status but we are not going to read it, so we continue. You can read later. Then Ace, Daniel or Logan Anden. Okay, seems to not uh, pre be present. Anima, Sheng Yan, Turles. Um, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, so I, I wrote it down yesterday already. Um, yeah, we um, primarily are working on the um, Bootstrap remote key uh, infrastructures and have you know a variety of uh, drafts. They're expanding that framework. Um, you know most of it is actually targeted for IoT environments, as you know, um, home automation, uh, building automation, and so on. Um, and uh, yeah, I think we're getting ourselves again into some. Uh, time consuming interdependency between the different drafts, uh, you know, which pieces to put in uh, where um, we, we did have until ITF 160 in a very large um, uh, uh, blocker on um, how to um, expand our Yang model. And, and that was very painful. And, and we arrived at the notion that um, we, we can't really split up the Yang model across different drafts and inherit from each other. So which is why we now have um, a document where we are uh, have started to coalesce all the Yang work. So if you have similar problems, don't even try to replicate our pains. Um, and uh, so that's that's going to be the one big dependency for all the other drafts. And then we also discovered in our um, weekly um, meetings um, that uh, we have the uh, whole discovery of um, you know the service points unresolved. So that's what we're trying to um, also figure out in ITF 117. We take that, we've got proposal for that. Otherwise, we're concentrating on three out of the seven drafts. So it's, it's, it's all shared authors to some extent. And um, so some of the drafts are a little bit in a holding pattern. I've started as a working group chair to already postpone, uh, put, put pause on one of the drafts that, that has expired so that we can uh, serialize and hopefully sort through the uh, the interdependencies and get closer towards working group last state on those. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Torles. Comment or questions? Okay, thank you. ISDF, Michael, Niklas? Okay, they're going to, they're going to, want to meet on the next ITF. Yeah, okay. So the, the main document uh, was uh, submitted on at the internet draft deadline, and uh, now needs to go through working of last call. And uh, I think this round is is pretty much done. We have uh, a number of items that we will need to recharter 
uh, for uh, to to pick up in the next one. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Karsten. Thank you for updating as well the notes. And Seabor, Bar, Barry, or Christian? Christian here. <clears throat> yes. Um, so summarizing, um, the CDD L2 efforts, um, that's, that's going on well. Um, we've adopted a first round of drafts um, <clears throat> that do things from, from small maintenance stuff up to introducing the module structure that is more getting really into the 2.0 part of what the others are more like 1.5-ish. If we want to stick with some with such numbers, so this is going on well. <clears throat> um, with more to come, that is not yet in a shape where the working group is actually um, processing its own documents. Uh, we've received from last ITF a dispatch item on deterministic seaboard that is part of a larger um, effort around um, <clears throat> and an envelope format that allows revealing parts of documents uh, without revealing their con. Uh, without revealing others and still maintaining integrity. Uh, one part of that has been dispatched to us, that is deterministic CBOR. Um, this has been not adopted, but at least there, are, there is interest in the working group and collaboration with the authors uh, to get this into a shape where it can be a working group document. Um, my personal impression is that is more like being an <clears throat> a generalization of the information model. Um, along with possible fixes to the deterministic encoding of which so far we just have one example. Um, there is some, some, some back and forth going on around um, which text reserved in, in that general area um, for, due to which we might need to look, have a closer look at what, the, what expert review process uh, precisely entails. Um, but that, that's the, o the other draft, Christian. Yeah, um, that, that that is more the, the Gordian efforts and not on deterministic seaboard. Yeah, thank you. Um, okay, so, great. Yes. Um, and then we have a few documents, uh, say, um, oh, uh, yeah, um, we, I, I talked about PECT seaboard last time we met that way, and um, that is moving as well. And yeah, some stuff that's probably not worth mentioning. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Christian. Some additional comment or questions? Okay, Cor, Karsten, Marco, Jaime. Uh, Marco here. So Hi. we requested publication of the target attribute. We got an AD review and some suggestions for editing. Uh, it's progressing. And uh, we have three documents in Shepard Red App as we speak. The Core Young Library has test status on the data tracker and uh, is supposed to go through a new working group last call in the near future as the other core documents proceed. Uh, we also completed the working group last call of two other uh, documents, uh, which we expect to follow up. And we have a document in working group last call as we speak, uh, href. Um, this month's work, of the, most of the work happened on the core conf documents, uh, actually, see the comai with a uh, revision and two more revision, one each uh, expected uh, soon or even as the submission system reopens, I think. Uh, we spent quite a lot of cycles also in addressing the um, Shepard review of the group OSCORE document uh, from Christian and other activities related to, to OSCORE, uh, mostly key update and OSCORE at proxies. Uh, we also adopted a new working group document uh, after the Yokohama meeting, uh, performance measurement for co-op, and there is a new working group document that was actually the result of a split out uh, from the key update document for OSCORE uh, mentioned above. Uh, we also uh, kept the habit of meeting regularly in most of the design team meetings for uh, DHREF and Coral work. Uh, we'll have a two-hour session um, in San Francisco and um, in the interest of informal hallway discussions, uh, we are going to have a 90 minutes uh, side meeting uh, on the last uh, ITF day. Uh, you can see more information in the wiki. And we plan to resume the interim meetings uh, end of August, interleave with uh, CBOR as usual. That should be all. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Marco. Thanks. Marco, may I interrupt you? This is Eric Vink here. As you know, I am the shepherding AD until the end of the month for the course SID, and I see no activities on this uh, since it was sent back to the working group. <laughs> There has been revisions, and I think Karsten plans one more uh, in the yeah. next few days. <laughs> so we, we have uh, talked at a number of uh, interims about that, 
the remaining problem is that we need to synchronize the, the work on P Yang uh, with the examples in, in both the core SID and the core coma uh, document. Uh, we think we have nailed it for core coma. We are not sure for uh, core SID. And uh, we're trying to prepare this as if all else uh, fails, we are probably going to spend some time at the hackathon uh, finishing this software work. Thank you, Gerson, for the update. I appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Some further comment or questions? Okay. Uh, Kose, Matt, Ivalo? Okay, Deadnet? But let, let me just quickly comment about Kose. This has yeah. a really packed agenda. Um, so uh, please have a look at it. I, I paste it into the notes uh, once I find it. Uh, but th there is a lot of work uh, to do there. I mean, it's all kind of glue work, but the, the glue has to be there for things to work together. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Karsten. Mm, Detnet, Low, Janos. Okay. Someone can comment on Detnet? Okay. I well, hope had, yes. had a nice working meeting the last two hours. Uh, so I, I like the way the, the work is uh, proceeding. Uh, the, I think Turles is also in, in the meeting right now, who was uh, in, in that meeting. So interesting discussions. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Karsten. IoT Ops, Alexei, Henk. Someone can comment on IoT Ops? Okay, Lake, Melissa, Stephen. Yes, this is Melissa here. Hi. So uh, in terms of Lake, we have two chartered items, the ad hoc draft and the traces draft that were waiting for the AD review for some time uh, during the previous uh, reporting period. So we received those AD reviews and the authors published zero, uh, the 20th version of ad hoc, which incorporates the changes from the AD review. Uh, one of those changes affects the implementations, and this has caused a significant change in the traces draft. So we decided to split the two drafts, traces and ad hoc, from uh, uh, from further progress. And right now we have launched the our AD has launched the ITF last call for the ad hoc document, which is kind of ready. And the traces is still under revision uh, with significant changes due to this change uh, in the implementations in the in the vectors. So in terms of that's in terms of the chartered items, uh, then uh, we we are undergoing rechartering as a working group. This has progressed, but we are still not there yet. So I took an action item to sync with my ID on this. And uh, what else during ITF, we will be meeting on Monday uh, in a joint session with ACE, uh, 1630 to 1830 UTC. Thank you. Thank you, Melissa. Some further comment or questions? Okay, thank you. I see that the, the agenda was paced for COSE. Thank you very much. And then Elwick, Mohit Sen. Okay, there is, seems that there is a last document I wouldn't update and then they're going to close the working group. LP1, Alex, Pascal. Hello, uh, Ines. Hi, Pascal. Pascal. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yes, I hope you're doing good, you all. It's been a while, so I hope we all meet in, in San Francisco next week. Uh, for, for LP1, um, the news is we are we are migrated to Shix. So I will tell you more about that. I created a Shix section actually in this document, um, and so LP1 is basically completing the work that was outstanding, and this is a set of two uh, companion RFCs. One of them is 9441, and the other is 9442. So the two of them are basically completed, well, completing their path through all uh, 48. I saw for 42 that the, the last uh, vote was, was taken. So it's a yes throughout. I mean, it will be published probably today or tomorrow. And 41 is uh, outstanding. Some little changes in the IANA section because some things were slightly renamed. Uh, but once this is passed, all the authors are also good. 
So uh, we can expect that possibly by the time we meet on Thursday next week, uh, both RFCs are out. So that's that's basically the, the news uh, we have on LP1. And then I'll okay, give you separate news on Chic because I created the entry for Chic. Thank you very much, Pascal, and for creating the entry for Chic. Some further comment or questions? Okay, Rats, Kathleen, Nancy, Ned. Okay, Ro, uh, Rick, Eve. If, there's, if they're not there, then I, I can comment on Ro. Yes, uh, yes, please. Yanosh is there, he wants to comment. Uh, so basically, the, the, the big thing in Raw is uh, the Raw architecture. That was one of the big mandates, and uh, it's, it's in Raw plus core. Uh, the, the Raw technologies is progressing uh, very well as well, and the use cases is, is, is mostly done for all I know. So we are, we are basically progressing those three documents, and then um, Raw will kind of uh, Spin back in definite, I guess that that's what's happening now. So, so the, the the big thing which is left for row in the future is the row framework, and um, there is also the row OAM. I guess they would be completed within definite. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Pascal, for the update in row. Roll. Quick, quick question: Is there any yeah. any planned timeline or kind of what what are the next steps to? Uh... For this to evolve. Oh, uh, the next step is pretty much now, or less, a little less. And thanks for your presentation this morning at DevNet. It was really huge. Loved it. Um, so, the basically the chairs uh, for Row have explained that they will not continue this activity. Both of them are, have changed their their uh, activities, and so the, the easiest thing was to hasten, I would say, a little bit the merge back of row into DeathNet. And then the DeathNet shares uh, have accepted to to take row under their umbrella. So uh, I guess it's we already have a, a row slash DeathNet meeting this week. Mm -hmm. You'll see it's not a row meeting, it's more like a, a common row DeathNet meeting. Mm -hmm. But my wild guess, I'm not a chair, but my wild guess is they will more or less announce that that was that's the last row meeting as a separate entity. It's not the last, it's the, the last before last, something like that. No, no, because I was uh, I was listening to, to Raw first on that um, nice presentation given there um, at the uh, IEEE from, 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 the, uh, from the Raw folks. No. It, it, I'm trying to, to wrap my head around what this means for, for DeadNet when it's, it's, it's merged back into DeadNet. So I think that's um, a question for that joint meeting there. It has to do from what you were saying this morning. Uh, for instance, you were speaking about accounting for the latency of the link, and you mentioned that yep. uh, MCS might be variable. For example, on Wi-Fi, in my uh, reading, yes. and so so that gives you a different latency for transmitting. So you have to know before you start transmitting what kind of latency you're going to you're going to get there. Um, so the sort of thing, so we mentioned MCS in the architecture, but uh, there's also mostly this control loop, which says that in, in a row network, you probably will have more redundancy, so more possible partition paths. It, it's, it's actually a, a kind of virtual collection or combinatorial collection of uh, protection paths, and row is really a control loop that uh, selects for the next packet one of those possible protection paths within the aggregation of protection paths. So, so the, the alternatives can be predefined or can be decided on, on the fly based on the graph that is a subset of the network that can take you from A to B. So, so that's what's going to happen. You do some monogram work with trying to measure the network and then um, what we call the PSC, the, 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 the end ingress of the network. And possibly inside the network as well, but mostly supposedly the ingress node, uh, for the reasons like you explained this morning, um, making that computation and selecting the, the subset of the whole graph that can be used for, for this thing. Mm. Um, now, for, for the nodes in the middle, they will probably, if the decision is done by uh, the ingress node, they will do their net network as usual. They will just be uh, the subset that has been selected for the current uh, run of pack. 
No, no, Pascal, I, sorry, I, you're already into the cool technology. I, I was rather thinking about really the annoying things like DeadNet already is so much overrun by time that, that it's mostly, you know, status update. And so when we do merge back raw, then mm. uh, the, the time management and maybe getting two slots for DeadNet, like, effectively. We oh, I expect it's going to happen. That's what happens yeah. at this stage, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and the reason why we are the raw uh, as a separate Entity is also because the people interested in the technology that was needed for RAW were not necessarily the one at DeathNet. And you've seen that for a while when there was no RAW, right? I was fighting to get some wireless concerns into DeathNet and never finding my path to the uh, to the agenda. So so that that's why we did it separately. Um, yeah, I I don't know. I mean, it could have remained a separate working group, but th there is a need of a very good coordination between the two. Well, I mean, I do certainly agree that, you know, um, it's when, when, when the network path are mixed wired and wireless, it's, it's somewhat dangerous to try to build things, you know, independent of each other. Right? So the more you, you see the other side of the equation, the better it is for an integrated solution. Well, row row was not wireless only row had to account okay. for the wireless link in the graph. Okay. Uh, and row builds effectively by architecture on that net. It's kind of a superset. Thanks. Okay, thank you very much, Pascal, and for the discussion for this as well. Uh, Roll. Uh, well, we are now going to meet in the ITF, next ITF. We want to plan some series of internet meetings started in September. Our documents, our projection is ready. We are waiting for the routing directorate, which is taking too long, unfortunately, but I hope we can ship it soon. Olivia Ripple is waiting for the Shepherd document. Uh, NC extension is almost all the issues address, one open issues, but we have requested the early routing and security directory review and enrollment priorities in progress. Some comment or questions? Okay, Sheik, Pascal, Alex. So okay. uh, you are just, ready mentioned. Yes. I have not seen Alex. Yes. <laughs> so yes, Sheik is is kind of the uh, next step for LP1. Mm -hmm. Some somewhat like six low was the next step for six low pan. Okay. Uh, Sheik is is the compression mechanism that was defined for LP1, yeah. but we realized that its applicability is way beyond um, the upper layer protocols that are used in LP1s like LoRa or Sigfox. And the lower layers that are lower at Sigfox and, and 15.4. I mean, we can use Sheik in pretty much every environment. And we started to discover that and write a, an architecture for Sheik that is uh, not limited to LP1 use cases. So to, to cover that, uh, we decided to, to create this new Sheik working group and kind of sunset LP1 as, you know, uh, sundown actually LP1 as we as we create Sheik. So this might be the last LP1 meeting at ATF 117 and moving towards Sheik taking over basically. So for okay. now, the meeting is a shared meeting, just like Ro and DeathNet. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Uh, Sweet, Dave, Davi, David, Ross. Someone can comment on Sweet? Okay. Deep, Tiru, Nancy. Someone can comment on tip. Okay. Then for RTF, Coin, Jeffrey, Eve, Marie Jose. Okay. Um, things to see research group, Karsten, Ari. Ari is, is on the, the road ah, right yes. now, so he can't join. Um, so we will not meet at ITF 117. Uh, we have five documents that, that are in various ways close to being completed, uh, some of which already have left the research group. Um, so some, some RFCs uh, to be expected uh, soon. Uh, and we also have a new set of documents that, that have been submitted that we will probably start discussing at, at post uh, 117 uh, interims. And I just pointed uh, to the data tracker, which, which has a nice summary. Uh, of those documents. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Karsten. Comment or questions? Okay. So next topic, new plan 
ITF, RTF, IoT activities? Do you know additionals, the additionals to the ones that are mentioned today? Okay. Uh, other, do you know as well some updates in other IoT SDOs that you want to share with us? Okay. Thank you. I will proceed to stop sharing. Okay, uh, next steps will we post the recording and the notes and let you know. And some additional comment or questions. Okay, then have a nice trip to the ITF and uh, see you in the next uh, pre-ITF meeting. Thank you very much for your participation. And thank you for your thank you. efficient sharing. Thanks a lot. Thank you all. Thank bye you. bye. See you next week. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.